there everybody. So it's been a while, but I wanted to check in with you. I wanted to find out how you've been doing because this is a tough time. We are in the middle of social distancing, not something that most of us have ever had to go through. And we're in self-quarantine. And we have all of these restrictions. We can go out, but only for the essentials, right? We're all supposed to be kind of keeping to ourselves. And if you have family around, that also might be driving you a little over the edge at this point. So let's just talk about some of the things that I've written down to kind of help us mentally get through this period of time. It's hard because it's uncertain how long we have to go through these. Now, of course, there are all the other things out there that are um, the norms, right? Go through and organize the closets and the junk drawers that you've been meaning to get through. Get through that garage or that old shed as one of my friends um, on Facebook has been doing. Um, you know, deep clean, spring cleaning, that's a fantastic thing to go through, you know, but then once you get through all of that, what else? And for those of you that have children at home, my goodness, God bless you because you have a lot more patience than I think I would have had at this period of time. My kids are grown, so I don't have that to, do, to take care of right now. But, you know, I know some people are faring really well. They're having a great time. They're cooking. They're experimenting with some things. They're gardening. They're reading a lot more. They're binge watching their favorite shows. What are you doing? Are you doing anything a little bit different? How is your mental state? Are you a little frazzled, a little on edge? Let me know in the comments. But I did want to just kind of throw out a few things that will help during this period of time. One, create a routine. Routines kind of help you get through your day. You've already normally been in a routine. You've gotten up, you make your cup of coffee, you do breakfast, you get up, go to work. Maybe you start with emails, you do all these things. If you're one of the many whose industry has required them to not be around, maybe you're remote working. So this still works for you. So you still have somewhat of a routine, but there are so many people right now, especially the restaurant and hospitality industry that has been uh, let go for the time being because there's just no way to keep um, those employees on and my heart goes out for you. Um, but then there's also those who don't necessarily um, go to work, but they have uh, they have a social interaction with people on a regular basis. So I wanted to go ahead and throw a few things out there. Besides creating that routine, you know, which will create some sort of normalcy in your day, which is always fantastic for all of us and our mental health, you know, break up your day a little bit, change up your environment and your different activities. I mean, if you can, if you have a chance to get out and go for a walk in your neighborhood, do it. Now, you got to still keep the distance between your neighbors, but you've got to go out, have some fresh air. Don't be cooped up in your house all day. You need to have some disruption for your brain and for your, just your well-being. Okay. Um, another thing is, you know, eat healthy, get plenty of sleep, get plenty of exercise, do those things because that will keep you from going stir crazy. At least it'll help you constantly be in movement because being in the house and just sitting on the couch and binge watching all day, although it's a great time, it's not great for you, right? You've got to get your brain moving and stimulated, not to mention you've got to take in some fresh air and you've got to get out there and make sure that you're keeping your body healthy. Um, you know, and in today's day and age with social media, it's easy to kind of scroll, scroll, scroll and look at what people are doing, but that is not a connection. You've got to keep connected with people. Get on um, a Facebook, a, a, a FaceTime, get on Facebook Messenger chat with your friends. That's what I've been doing for a couple nights with girlfriends. And it's actually pretty amazing. We've actually just sat around, shot the shit and had some uh, wine in the same at the same time. Last night, it happened while I was cooking dinner. So I turned on the phone, finished cooking my dinner, could hear the conversation, still was engaged in the conversation, all from my kitchen and all from the phone that I carry around in my pocket at all times, right? Um, you've got to find ways to uh, focus on the positives. There's so much stuff coming at us all day long on social media, on the news, in the papers, everything that's going on. I understand everybody's need to constantly get the latest information, but the latest information sometimes is very repetitive. How much of that do you need, right? So 
break up some of the negativity that's coming in and kind of start looking for some of the positive stuff. The funny thing about that too is, is if you're using your phone constantly or your computer constantly and you're on the social networks, if you're constantly also engaging with more positive information that's coming out or has nothing to do with the current coronavirus ep ep pandemic, you're going to see more of that. So engage in some of that positive stuff and get some of that into your brain because you need to have some of that positivity flowing in there. Okay. Um, and look at the end of it, you just got to take one day at a time. Some of them are going to be tougher than others. You know, if you need to reach out to some people do so also help one another neighbors, are supposed to be there for each other. If you know you have an elderly neighbor, it will help you to help others. And what I mean by that is when you can get out of your own head and whatever you're doing actually is for the benefit of someone else that is not as capable as you, you have a huge amount of endorphins and you feel useful. And that's what you need right now. Believe me, it is such a good help when you can go ahead and get out of your own head and you can focus on something other than the coronavirus pandemic. All right. Now I will be back on, um, on in a couple days with a friend of mine who is a therapist and we'll talk more about this in depth. We will talk with Helen Kovacs. I will put more information in, um, the details below as they come along, but Everybody stay safe out there. Make sure that you are nice and healthy. You're connecting with others. You're breaking up the routine. You're creating a routine. You're distracting yourselves with things that are productive and you're reaching out and making sure that you're helping your neighbors. Be kind to one another. We'll talk soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of But Seriously. You know, if you like what you heard today and you want to hear more, hit the subscribe button. That way you're constantly knowing whenever there's new information up and whenever we have a new chat, okay? Everybody stay safe out there. We'll talk soon.